on a bumpy ride as the Crystal Coast wakes up. One captain sets his charts toward catching some shrimp. Ever since I was little, I would go to my granddad. Captain Willis Rice comes from a family in the fishing business for more than a century. Nowadays it's getting a little tougher though with fuel prices and regulations. The price of commercial fishermen licenses rose this year. Not to mention the fact that shrimp was more scarce this summer compared to last year. We've had so much rainwater, a lot of rainwater and freshwater flushes them out. That hasn't stopped Captain Willis from lowering his net. No matter what I'm doing, I've, I've always loved being in a boat or being out on the water. About three miles from shore, the boat starts dragging for shrimp. We'll scrape the bottom and it'll stir the shrimp up and cause them to jump. Jim Smith has been working alongside Captain Willis for several years. He says it can be hard to see shrimp in deep muddy waters, but with seagulls tailing the boat, shrimp must be near. A few drags of the net later, it's time to reel up the nets. Taking a first look at the shrimp, Smith says many commercial fishermen families depend on shrimping. It's all we do, and it's what, it's, it's what we live off of. With a full bucket, it's time to go back to shore. Smith separates the last of shrimp, a rewarding feeling. I love doing it. It gets stressful, but I love doing it. The shrimp is tossed on ice, but soon we'll end up in seafood markets across eastern Carolina. It's what this town was made off of.